Okay, what is up YouTube? Um, if you're about to watch this video, it's kind of long and ranty, so I apologize in advance. Um, basically, I summarize what happened over the past four years. It's been over four years since I uploaded a video, so I summarize what's happened in that time and the cars I have gone through. If you want to skip to the end, I am sitting here in my 2015 Ford Fiesta ST. So basically that's what I talk about in the next like 17 minutes, I think it was. So if you want to save yourself a little bit of time, there it is. Basically I'm starting a new channel and this is going to be the first video in four years on this channel and the last video on this channel. I am just starting 100% fresh. So there you go. If you want to save yourself like 18 minutes, you just did it. Congratulations. Uh, anyways, thank you for watching this video. If you want to go ahead and watch to the end, you're awesome. If you want to just stop right here and click the link below that I'm going to have for the new channel, you can go ahead and do that. I'll have nothing wrong with that. But anyways, I um, hope you enjoy this video. It might be pretty hard to enjoy because I'm just sitting in the car ranting about the last four years of my life. But if you want to watch it, go ahead. If you don't, I don't blame you because yeah, I was boring myself to death while I was filming it. Anyways, thank you for watching and I hope you follow me over to the new channel to watch my videos over there. Enjoy the next 17 minutes of me. So it's been four years since I've uploaded a video and I'm back for this video to kind of explain what happened and what will be happening. So the last video I uploaded was April 2nd, 2015. I don't really know why I stopped uploading. I think I just got busy with work and life and just kind of put off YouTube. So about a year after that last video, um, I bought a downpipe for the Subaru got all that installed it was fast as hell it was awesome and then a week later when I was about to buy a tune for it I was on my way home from a friend's house at like 2 in the morning and it started to misfire it had a multiple cylinder misfire I think it was cylinders 1 and 3 that started to misfire so I tore it all down trying to diagnose it myself took it into work the next day and like did a compression test on it. There was no compression in cylinder three. Compression in cylinder one was really low and two and four were okay. So at this point I thought I blew a head gasket and I pretty much decided right then and there that I was going to rebuild the motor and put a tougher block in it. So I saved up for like six to eight months and got about three grand, bought an IEG stage two short block, and then saved up for another few months until right around my birthday in November. My birthday is actually today, so November 11th. I took it to the shop November like 28th or something like that, like week after Thanksgiving in 2016. Took it to a shop local to me, it's called Moonbeam Garage. They are no longer in business, but they did an awesome job installing the motor. We put a lot of aftermarket cool parts on it. Um, we left the turbo stock. We did 1,000cc injectors, a top feed fuel rail con conversion off of a newer WRX, um, engine mounts, and a couple other little things. I think we did TGV deletes too. So that all got finished right around the middle of December and I drove it to work every single day. At this point I was working, I was no longer working at the car dealership that I was working at and I was in the elevator union and I was working about 40 miles one direction from where I lived so I would drive the Forester to and from work every day. I broke it in in about a week 
and then I went and got it tuned. It made a pretty, in my mind, it's pretty decent for the elevation I'm at. It's at like, we're like 4,300 elevation, 4,300 feet of elevation here in Salt Lake. And the air quality is pretty bad. I would say like, well, I guess like the air quality doesn't have anything to do with it, but with like the elevation and like the temperatures and humidity and stuff we get, the density altitude of Salt Lake is pretty close to like 8,000 feet elevation when it's not like winter time. Like in the summer when the tracks are open and everything, our density altitude is horrible. So it made 225 all-wheel horsepower and 290 foot-pounds of torque on a Mustang all-wheel drive dyno. Um, Ryan Kitchens at Simple Performance tuned it. He did an awesome job. He was awesome throughout the process. Replaced a couple parts on it for me that were bad while we were getting it tuned. So I drove it for a few months, took it on a couple road trips. It was running awesome. The ECU fried itself in March of 17. And it took me three months to track down an ECU for it and get that installed and repin some connectors on the harness that were messed up. So once I got that done, like two or three days after I got that done, there was a big race event at our local track that is no longer around. It was called uh, Streetcar Shootout. Yes, Streetcar Shootout, because it's like Streetcar Takeover, but not as big, because it's just a local guy and his buddy that set it up. So I went there, and it was the first time I had run the car in like two years. Uh, first pass out, it ran like a 14.3, which was my personal best in the car at the time. The next fastest pass I had ran was like a 15.2 or something, maybe like a low, it was a low 15. So first pass out on the new setup, it runs a 14.3. This is the first time down a drag strip in like two years. So I turned the launch control up a little bit and went back out and it knocks down like a 13.8 second pass at like 88 miles an hour. And I was real proud of that because to me, the car was fast. It kept up with, you know, similarly modded STIs. It would beat up on WRXs the car was just running amazing. So I made about 30 quarter mile passes in it that year at various events. Um, most of them were midnight drag events at the local track. I think I made like six passes that first day I took it out too. And I took it down to Vegas and made like six passes at the track in Vegas, hoping to run a better time, but I didn't. I actually ran a faster time up here in Salt Lake one of the next times I took it out. So, and I was going to take it out again in October of 2017, but like four days before this event that I was going to take it out again, I was on my way home from work, and so I was going down this road, and I got into the center lane, because traffic was pretty bad, so I got into the center lane to turn left and take another way home, and I'm so I'm in the center lane for like 200 feet, and this guy in the right lane, the straight lane of travel, just decided to crank his wheel as hard as he could to the left and floor it to make a U-turn. He didn't check his mirrors or anything, and he ran into the left-hand front side of the Subaru. When it was all said and done, insurance totaled it. It would have been... It was a little over 80% of what the car was worth to fix it. I think it was like $4,500 to fix it, and insurance valued the car at $5,500. So my insurance at the time did not want to fix it. They actually didn't even give me the option to buy the car back, or I would have. So I was without the Forester for, or without a car after that, for like two or three weeks, and roommate 
that I had at the time. He and I went out for lunch one day, and we were talking about what kind of car I wanted to buy, and I was like, you know what? I don't know. I don't really know what I want. I want another Forester, but I want one that's as clean or cleaner as the one I had, and I don't want to, like, spend a whole bunch of money if I buy another Forester, because I know that it's going to blow up. It's a Subaru. It's going to blow up. So... We kind of talked about it, and he's like, well, let's go look at cars. So we went around to a couple dealerships, and we stopped at one dealership that I had been to a couple days before, just kind of looking, browsing around after hours, and we test drove a 2015 GTI with the DSG, and pretty much bought it right after that, that day, and let me tell you, that was a mistake. I just jumped right into this car. It was like over double as expensive as what the Forester cost me per month with insurance wasn't too much more, but the monthly payment was like a little over double what I was paying on the Forester. So I get the GTI. It's like at the time I could afford it. So it wasn't like too big of a mistake when I bought it. Um, about two weeks after I bought it, so I bought it like October 26, 2017, and about two weeks after that, I was working, I was no longer at the elevator union, I hadn't been at the elevator union since June of 2017, so two weeks after I bought the car, it was November 8, 2017, I was working as... A delivery driver we were deliver we would deliver furniture treadmills just a lot of like home goods and so i was working for an independent contractor and we were delivering a treadmill out in harriman it's a, like 30 minutes from where i'm at so we're delivering this treadmill and we're walking up this lady's backyard on the grass we had the treadmill on a dolly and in hindsight, we should have done it a completely different way, but it started to fall off the dolly, and I dislocated my left elbow. Now, this made it so that obviously I couldn't work. I couldn't really do much of anything for a month and a half, so I was late on the first insurance payment on the GTI and the first car payment on the GTI, and fast forward to September of 2018, it ended up getting repossessed. Now, this was like a crazy low point in my life for me. Like, 2018 really just sucked for me because I bought the GTI in 2017 and I dislocated my elbow and couldn't work for a month ended up just quitting that job, finding another job, and I got so far behind on bills and payments and, like, the medical bill and everything, I'm actually still paying on stuff from all that now, and it sucked. So, the GTI gets repossessed, and I was like, you know what? I don't know what I'm going to do for a car now. I kind of want to buy another Forester. I kind of don't really know what I want. I'm just going to take my time to look for something because banks aren't going to loan me anything right now. So I'm just going to hang out for a little bit, chill, and see where life goes. So I pretty much just drove around in a minivan that my girlfriend's mom gave to us about a year before. Well, not about a year before. She gave it to us a few months before the GTI got repossessed because we traded her, we traded my girlfriend's car for the van because we never really drove my girlfriend's car. So she ended up just letting us keep the van and told us we could sell it if we wanted and like use money for bills and stuff. But then the GTI got repossessed and she ended up just letting us still keep the van. So I drove that for about a year until September of this year, 2019, and in that time, uh, my buddy bought a 2015 Ford Fiesta ST, and you guys can probably tell by 
this seat over here that that's probably what I'm sitting in. So my buddy bought a 2015 Fiesta ST in August of 18, right before my GTI got repossessed. And throughout the next year, I drove that car multiple times and just like fell in love with it. I had actually been looking at Fiestas while I was in the elevator union and the Forester was down getting the new motor in. So I knew I liked the cars. I knew that I thought it was a fun car. And I pretty much knew that I wanted one already because I had wanted one back in 2017 when the Forester was waiting to get a new motor in it. So September of this year, 2019, I decided to pull the trigger and pick up a 2015 Ford Fiesta ST. It is green envy. You can probably see that right here in the door jam. It is brighter than my future. This car is awesome. It's got the Recaro seat package. It's got the sunroof. It's pretty much fully loaded as far as these go. So that's pretty much where I'm at right now. Um, I'm going to be starting a new channel. I will probably add a link to it in the description of this video. Uh, probably going to be uploading videos to it within the week. It's November 11th, Monday, November 11th right now. So I might film one. It's like, I'm going to film one today. I might get it edited and posted by the end of this week probably sooner. It might be posted tonight. Who knows? This will definitely be posted right after I'm done filming it because I'm not really going to do much editing with this one. It's just going to be me ranting for the last 14 minutes. So yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm going to be filming some videos with this. I have some parts that I have put on since I've bought it and I'm going to go through and kind of do install videos on that. I will be doing like review videos with this. Um, I definitely want to drive some of my buddy's cars and review them. Uh, my buddy, like I said, he has a Fiesta. It's got a couple more things than this does done to it. So it'll be a good review. And then I have a couple of other friends that have some cool cars for review. But yeah, this is going to be the last video on this channel. So I think there's about six subscribers on this channel. I don't even know how many of you are going to watch that or if any of you are even going to see it. So I might just be filming this video for nobody. But if you do watch this video, go ahead. I would appreciate it if you went over to the other channel. Like I said, the link will be down in the description. I would greatly appreciate it if you follow me over to the next channel and be there while I upload videos of this car and other cars I don't really know my format's probably just gonna be like modding modifying this um, maybe vlogs here and then uh, modifying my friends cars when they want to modify their cars so it'll be fun I'm not gonna do like a reg regular schedule unless it kind of if it takes off a little bit I'll probably do a regular upload schedule of videos but for now, I'm just going to upload a video when I feel like filming one. Like I said, I have I have some ideas right now that I want to do within the month of November that I think would be cool videos. Um, I have, like, right now, today I'm probably going to go film a walk around of this and, like, what it's got done to it, my, like, initial couple of months review on it and something like that. So if you're interested, go ahead uh, go over to this other channel and let's have some fun in the future. Thanks for watching.